What's good, internet? Today we're covering another massively spoiled brat that just embarrasses herself on TV. So let's meet our subject today. My 16-year-old daughter, Nicolette, is extravagant, spoiled, and bratty. Nicolette is beyond entitled. So this is the mother right here. And also, if you're actually saying that about your kid, don't you think you should probably step in and try to cut them off or intervene at this point? I mean, she's 15, nearly 16 here, and she is still under your roof. You should be the one to lay down the law in this situation. This girl is only entitled and spoiled because you allow her to be that way. And trust me guys, she is bad. All right, now let's meet her. I have these two Chanel wallets. This one's my favorite because it really goes with this purse. I have raised a true Beverly Hills brat. Ugh, so of course her first entry into the show is just her flexing some designer wallets and handbags that mommy and daddy bought her. Trust me guys, this is only the beginning of her vapid and honestly very cringy lifestyle just shown on screen. I could definitely say we're quite affluent. My mom raised me with everything I've ever wanted and she needs to continue. It's the only life I've ever known. I can definitely say we're quite affluent. <laughs> Such a bratty way to say, yeah, my parents are rich and spoiled me. Also, what a stuck up way to think of your parents, demanding that they continue to feed you from a silver spoon for the rest of your life, all because it's your lifestyle and the only life you've ever known. What happens when you need to become a real adult? She's probably just gonna be rocking that Chanel purse and wallet combo to her dead end job because she didn't ever think she'd need to work. But you know what they say, life hits you fast. Nicolette has always had the best of anything and everything. I went to amazing schools. I had a driver, I had a nanny, personal trainers. All right, so this girl is basically living the life of Michael DeSanto's kid in GTA 5. <laughs> you remember how annoying his daughter was? Like, I'm getting serious flashbacks from that right now, bro. Maybe I'm just jaded because my personal driver was my mom throughout my childhood, and my personal trainer was my middle school PE teacher, whom I absolutely hated. At a very young age, Nicolette had her own credit cards with absolutely no credit limit. Some months, her credit card bills would be 10000 I just paid the bill. This mom is ridiculous. I love how she's on here complaining that her daughter's a brat, but she's the one who gave her a freaking black card at seven years old and thought, wow, this won't end badly at all. My daughter will grow up to be a responsible young woman with a good idea of how to budget her money. Nah, now she's dropping 20 bands a month on handbags on Rodeo and still doesn't work a cent for it. Nicolette had an allowance of $5,000 a month to cover her expenses. I love designer clothes and shopping on Rodeo Drive just because it's so fun. I have some $5,000 Chanel bags, a couple of those. Of course she shops on Rodeo. Guys, if you ever go to LA, go to Rodeo Drive and you will see a ton of these trust fund babies just running from store to store, dropping absolute stacks with mommy and daddy's credit cards. It's really insane. <laughs> Also, you might meet a celebrity though. Hell, I even met Famous Dex when I went there, so that was cool. But yeah, besides that, it's a bunch of just rich, spoiled brats and things that you can't afford. <laughs> this is my favorite bag. It's a Celine micro luggage tote. I keep it on a chair because it's just so special. It's about $3,000 and I literally think of it as my own child. I, I literally think of this purse as my own child. That's how much I love it. Too bad I would never be able to raise a child myself at this point because, well, I know my parents would lessen my monthly allowance to help support their grandkid, so I need to stay kidless so I can keep buying these handbags. <laughs> In the past year, I probably have given her about $100,000. I don't even keep track anymore. These are my favorite pair of heels. They're Valentinos. I love them so much. I really like this piece. It's Louis Vuitton. $100,000 given to this girl, and the mom is just estimating on that. I am guessing she probably doesn't even want to admit how much she has actually given her, but I guarantee it's much more than that. I mean, if she's shopping nearly every day and going out to expensive restaurants with her friends, being chauffeured by drivers, I mean, that all adds up and that's gotta be in the hundreds of thousands a year. Imagine living life like that. Your parents just wanna please you so they do whatever you want and absolutely don't care what it costs. No matter how you try to envision it or think you could do it differently, I guarantee you and I would end up being a brat like this girl too. I mean, that's just kind of how the world works. You're a product of your environment. And I doubt this girl would even understand taxes or basic financing or how money works in general when she literally just swipes the card and boom, whatever she wants, she gets. I know I'm a spoiled brat, but I enjoy the lifestyle, you know? People are gonna hate on me, but they wish they were me. I realized I had to start cutting back because this is really out of control. Wow, what a great outlook from this mother. It took only 16 years for her to realize, wow, I should start cutting back. My daughter is turning into a vapid little cesspool of brattiness and it's not a good look for me as a parent. That went over just like a ton of bricks. Now my spending allowance per month is $1,000. I feel like a peasant. Oh my god, I cannot stand this girl. Imagine being given a thousand a month for simply existing and then calling yourself a peasant. I've survived on less a month and actually worked for that money and I didn't feel like a peasant. Sure, I was living paycheck to paycheck, but I mean, I'm sorry you can't go buying a new Celine bag every week anymore. How about just enjoying what you already have, your collection that is insanely expensive? Wouldn't that be cool? 
I can't live like this anymore. I'm always out of money. If you ask me, I think my mom should be giving me at least $2,500 a month just to cover my basic expenses. If you ask me, I think you should get no money a month <laughs> and stop being a spoiled little brat that would eventually have the world shattered when mommy and daddy run out of money to be giving you in the first place. This girl just does not have a simple grip on reality and that's that. She'll blow through a thousand dollars a week and then tell me that she's broke and she needs more money. When my mom refuses to give me money, I make her life a living hell. Yo, imagine actually saying that about your mother. Making their life miserable all because they cut you off from your monthly allowance that is still insanely higher than any parent I've ever seen. I don't know how it is where you guys grew up, but I don't know any kid that I grew up with that had $1,000 a month, especially at 15. My mom would laugh at my face if I asked for that. I mean, honestly, $1,000 with no bills that you're paying is a lot of money to have. Even if you eat out every day, I don't think that would be more than $1,000 a month. And yeah, she does understand what you're using your money for, but she probably just doesn't approve. Ah oh man, I really wish I could see this girl when she's older and scrounging for money. <laughs> she won't feel the need to buy all those shoes and clothes then, I guarantee it. I just don't want to deal with the drama, so I just give in and give my bratty daughter everything she wants. My mom refers to me as a Beverly Hills brat. It's true, I'm a brat, and I'm not gonna change. At least this bad parent knows she's a bad parent. I mean, and like fully admits to it. That's better than most of the ones that we've seen on this show. It's true, I'm a trash person, but that's the only lifestyle I know, so why change? <laughs> By the way, Dr. Phil, please get my mom to get me a higher allowance. I need to buy new handbags. So to make things even better, guys, she goes car shopping with the camera crew. Let's see what kind of ride she expects to get for her 16th birthday. See my G-Wagon. It's pretty normal for people to get nice cars. I want one. If I got her a nice, reliable Toyota or Honda, she would never step foot in it. She's that much of a snob. <sighs> yep, that's right. She takes them to the Mercedes dealership. I really don't know what else I expected. I mean, it's a bratty Beverly Hills girl. What else do you expect? Anything less? BMW won't do. Hell, even Lexus won't do. It's gotta be Mercedes. I want a Mercedes Benz G-Wagon, matte black, AMG package. Matte black, AMG package. Can you name a more basic LA girl car? Of course she just wants this because she feels the need to fit in, but I mean, come on. Imagine spending that much money just to look like everyone else on your road. I'm sure she has 20 G-Wagons on her block alone. So guys, real quick, I have a super fast challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. The exact G-Wagon I want is $231,000. I'm a princess, I'm definitely worth the price tag. Um, no you're not. If you were my kid, I'd maybe buy you one of those G-Wagon kids cars that you can vroom vroom around in our house with, but hell no, I'm not buying you a quarter million dollar car. I'd rather just buy another house or another property if I had that money, honestly. And especially not with the attitude that you have. Okay, it's good to meet you. I've arrived. Yes, you have. Uh, you wrote in to me. Tell me what you wanted me to get straight with your mom. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Wow. Another round of applause today. That is the most stuck up entrance anyone has ever had on this show. This girl thinks she's royalty or something. Absolutely insufferable. That's right, all you peasants in the Dr. Phil audience. The princess has arrived. Look at this necklace. All VVS, baby. You poor beast can't afford this. <laughs> oh, I hate this girl. I want my mom to understand that I can't live off of $1,000 a month and I grew up on a certain lifestyle. She can't just take that away from me immediately. If someone took her lifestyle away from her, she wouldn't like that. Well, it's her own hard work that has probably gotten her that lifestyle, and you can't say the same. So yeah, as her mother, she is totally within her rights to take away your lifestyle, especially if she can realize that she's raising a little she-devil and wants to stop it before you turn into an absolute mess. I need her to understand that I need at least $2,500 a month. She's not, she works all the time, she doesn't do anything for me, she doesn't drive me anywhere, and so other people would have their moms, like, drive them places. Um, no, my mom worked throughout my childhood, as most moms do, unless they're stay-at-home moms, which is cool too. But when I just got home from school and was at home, I was just there for the rest of the day. That's what you do as a kid. I'm sorry, but once you're 16, you get your license and you can go places. But until then, it's just a part of your childhood. Ugh, so then when Dr. Phil asks if she actually uses those funds to buy food and cook at home, to be her own mother like she claims, she says this. Yeah, yeah. I make food at home, but then I get bored. Just... I don't like cooking because it just makes a huge mess and then my mom gets mad at me. Ah, this girl really just does not have a grasp on the way that the world works. Also, I really hate listening to her talk. I don't know if it's because she is on the show and nervous or if she actually talks like this because if you guys notice, she continues the sentence with little jabs like after little pauses. It's almost as if that's how quickly her brain is processing the sentence as it comes along. She's all like, yeah, I don't like being stuck at home. 
because it's boring and I don't like that and also like I want to go outside because my house is boring and yeah so yeah that's where I'm gonna end the video today guys <laughs> I honestly can't take much more of this girl I mean it's mentally depleting to listen to her talk I really doubt she's ever gonna get past this attitude of hers I mean, her mom is willing to ride the bus every day, she said, if it allows her to buy that G-Wagon for her daughter. So she's unfortunately probably going to get the car of her dreams at 16 with absolutely no work to show for it. And her enabling mom is just going to continue to spoil her until the end of her days. So let me know what you thought of this girl down there in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.